Throughout history, humanity has faced an enormous amount of changes in political and social structure. We have seen great empires rise and fall, ideological revolutions, people willing to die for their beliefs, fighting for equal rights and liberty to acquire better living conditions, always striving for more. Humanity has reached the point of depleting the natural resources and the time has come to adapt our thinking. Welcome to another episode in the number one show in Mexico, Fundamentals of Political Science, a production from Samir TV. In today's episodes, we'll be talking about green ideology. We will try to prove that human ideologies evolve according to changes in history and necessities that will adapt to the circumstances in order to assure prevalence. Therefore, green ideology is the future wave in the evolution of political ideologies. E.H. Carr explains that circumstances are the creators of most men's opinions. That's what he calls relativity of thought. Therefore, ideas depend on time and place. Please do not mold the course of events. Instead, they are invented to explain them. As it can be seen throughout history, with monarchism, liberalism, capitalism, and now, green ideologies. E.H. Carr, relativity of thought can be explained through Compton theory of three stages. Theological, metaphysical, and positivist. Theological stage supposes all phenomena to be produced by the immediate action of supernatural beings. In monarchies, the government relied entirely in God. It was him who directly appointed the ruler. The metaphysical stage, instead of relying in God and supernatural beings, explains phenomena through abstract forces, for instance, universal human rights and liberty. Through the Enlightenment till the French Revolution, liberalism was an ideology predominating human thinking. We can see it in writings of Locke, Rousseau, Mill. It is all explained through liberalism. The third stage comes to propose is a scientific or positivist. It arrived with the Industrial Revolution, and now capitalism is a leading ideology of the world. E.S. Borgardo says that Comte failed to postulate a fourth mode of thinking, for example, socialized thinking, a system of thought which would emphasize the purpose of building a new constructive society, more harmonious. Green ideology is the first political ideology that is not anthropocentrist, which means that it does not consider humans as the center of the universe and master of nature. Therefore, it, fu it fulfills the fourth mode of thinking. Green ideology is the most recent of political thinking. It deals with issues that are very old in politics and philosophical inquiry, but also it tries to find solutions to problematics such as economic and political implications of climate change, big oil, overconsumption, resource competition, and rising levels of global and national inequalities. Climate change includes migration on a massive scale. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released its first assessment report where it is predicted that by 2050 there could be up to 200 million people displaced by rising global temperature, which is a problem that we won't be able to face given that it's not officially recognized under the existing law, therefore, there are no specific guidelines that can provide protection and assistance for people crossing international borders. Another phenomenon which exemplifies the social necessities is the enormous production of toxic residues produced by humans. Around 300 million tons of plastics are produced every year and in the past 30 years alone, the rate of plastic production has increased 620%. The beginning of green politics started in late 1960s and early 1970s. Australia's United Tasmanian Group was the first ecological political party registered in March 1972 in history. Their aim was to preserve the rainforest. According to Grigsby, environmentalism began as early as 1600s. This ideology asserts the importance of natural resources from an ecological perspective. 
As we have seen that human thought, including political ideologies, are subjected to a constant evolution through a sequence of stages, and ideologies try to explain the phenomena in society. Therefore, actual events such as the last Nobel Prize on economics reflect the increasing interest in social sciences for environmentalism. So does the climate refugees which demand space in the international political agenda are both examples which reflect the society's evolution and the green ideology answers to such changes that we experience nowadays.